We have a friend in studio with us. Yes, we do. His name is PT, and he wrote us a letter basically saying he wants to be a radio personality. Right, PT? Yes, it is. Not That's only his dream. That's his dream. Not just a radio personality, but he wants to give the celebrity gossip. Right. I sure do. You're all about the celebrity gossip life. <laughs> it's the gossip that everyone will be talking about today. It's PT's Showbiz Top 5 Whoa. on the King Craddock Morning Show. Hey everybody, I'm PT. Today, of course, it's Friday. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Don't take me long. Just try to get myself together just for you guys because without you, there would be no PT. Still a little bit under the weather. Thank God for Chase. He bought me some ginger snaps. But they say these are good for your stomach, anything with ginger in it. And of course, my PT's punch today is going to be uh, taking over the place of this is going to be taking the place of my PT's punch. Welcome to the show, everybody. I'm not going to be before you long, but thank everybody for praying for me. Thank everybody for thinking about me. And again, I'm still, I still got chapped lips. I think I had more of a uh, stomach virus more than the flu. When I went to that damn buffet the other day, child, I don't even want to get into it. But anyway, I'll find me another buffet place to go to. Welcome to the show again today. It's Friday. Hope you guys have a great weekend, and let's get right to it. Show this top five, number five. I want to talk about an update on a female impersonator in Dallas, Texas, who was murdered. Show this top five, number four, Jennifer Hudson. Show this top five, number three, Omarosa by Felicia. Show this top five, number two, Tavis Smiley. Show this top five, number one. Kevin Hart, I need you to sit your short ass down somewhere. I got something to tell you. All right, welcome to the show, everybody. Again, thank you guys for praying for me. Like I say, I'm still under the weather, but I had to get up and do this show because you guys, without you, there would be no PT, and I, I, it's just like I have to do it, you know, even if I'm feeling... I took out little chap lips and stuff. That's from my fever and all of that, but I'm going to try to get through it and make it fast, okay? My celebrities are not here today. Because I didn't want them to get the flu. <laughs> so they take a break. All right, here we go. Let's talk about Showbiz Top 5, number 5. Um, I don't know if you guys remember me reporting there was a a very famous female impersonator. Her, she went by the name of Bianca uh, uh, Davenport. She lived in Dallas slash Fort Worth. Well, she was murdered last Friday. Her and her roommate. Her roommate was actually shot. And I believe is still in the hospital. Well, they found the person who killed her. And it was a guy by the name of Faka Dunbar. Uh, he uh, he's in the Mansfield Jail there in, here in, there in Texas, and um, she just captured the title of Miss Dallas prior to 2017. And um, it, this happened by the TSU campus. I tell you guys, I, I think. And by the way, he has a hundred thousand dollar bond. I think I lost. Let's see. The guy. Um, there was, uh, Bianca, I'm sorry guys, chap lips, Bianca, my two friends in a car wreck, my friend in Miami, my other friend who died from cancer, I think my cousin, that's six, I think there's like seven, eight people I know who have passed on this year, so, you know, you just never know when your last day is, but we just want to, I just want to acknowledge her, and I want the people who knew her to remember that her life was not in vain, she, she, everybody loved Bianca, I didn't know her personally, I just talked to her a couple of times, but she was a great makeup artist, she was a great witch, she was a great hairstylist, and a lot of people loved her. And if you guys ever remember the story, uh, there's a club in Fort Worth called the Rainbow Lounge. Um, this club was raided a couple of years back, and um, they got a lot of attention nation nationwide, actually. Just Google the Rainbow Lounge. She was the MC there before the, the bar closed, or the bar, bar actually burned down. So anyway, she was well-liked and well-known. Rest in peace, Bianca. Let's move on to Showbiz Top 5, number 4. I want to talk about Jennifer Hudson ass. As you guys know, Jennifer Hudson... You know, she's going to be on The Voice, and her husband is saying that she's using The Voice to be shady. <laughs> and, you know, she's supposedly up under this gag order where she can't say or do certain things. You know, her ex-hubby, you know, her ex-hubby, her ex-hubby David. Well, 
I watched the video, and again, I, like I said, I'm still under the weather, so I didn't get a chance to record it. I'm just still trying to pull myself together just to put the show out. And I, I uh, she was interviewing a guy on The Voice, and and, and she she asked him. She he was singing about relationships and her shady ass. He said something concerning about um I can never keep a relationship or whatever the case may be. She's like, mm -hmm, I know what you mean. <laughs> You know, I, I had no idea that, you know, I don't know, is this David guy? Is this the guy that was the wrestler, y'all? Please, it's, please enlighten me. Is this the guy that I thought she was really in love with, the David, was it David Tonga? This is crazy. Well, you know, she does have a gag order. You have to be careful what you say when you're up on the gag order. I don't know. I, me personally, I feel so sorry for Jennifer Hudson. She has been through so much, you know, she, she, she was blessed and she didn't win American Idol, but she, she, she made a mark on American Idol. And she was blessed to, to be a part of Dream Girls. And then unfortunately, you know, she lost people in her family. It was just it was just a tragic thing in her life. So I never I've always had my heart out for Jennifer Hudson. I just, you know, and with her being a celebrity, it doesn't make it any better either. Because you don't know if a person really wants you for being who you are or because you are a celebrity. I don't know. I like I said, I love Jennifer and I wish her nothing but the best. But if I was you, bitch, I keep talking. <laughs> Let's move on. Show me stuff five. This is gonna be number three. Bye, Felicia. Well, I know you guys have heard, and I'm kinda late. I wasn't feeling good yesterday, but I'm a roses out the door. But a lot of people are saying, you know, uh, Robin Robin Williams said, is it Robin? Not Robin Williams, Robin from the good morning. She said, Bob Felicia, but wait, hold up a minute now. Before you say Bob Felicia, you know, Amorosa said that she experienced a lot of things that she wants to talk about and I want to hear it. And, but I don't buy the fact that she's trying to say that she's part of our community because you're not. She's not a part of our community because first of all, honey, you weren't a part of our community when you started fooling around with that damn Donald Trump. You know, so my thing is this, let her talk. We want to hear what she has to say. She could be the person to bring Donald Trump down. You just never know. She could be the person to bring, bring Trump, Donald Trump down. She was right there in the White House. She saw everything. She knows everything. She knew everything that was going on. She said she could see, can't believe some of the things she's seen in her. I want to hear what she has to say. Too, too, not too fast, Robin, before you say bye, Felicia. All right, let's move on. Show this top five. This is going to be number two. Tab is smiling. He said he's fighting back, child. It's so many people being accused of sexual allegations, child. It's a mess. Tavis Smiley, Russell Simmons, the guy from The Chew. I already told y'all about Miss Piggy. Uh-huh. And Miss Kermit. And Kermit. Oh, I already put it back some time ago. But it's just, it's crazy. But PBS said they did some investigation. He feels like they railroaded him. And they, well, child, my thing is this: if you didn't do nothing, you ain't railroaded. Then fight back. Do what you say you're gonna do. He said he's gonna fight back. Who's that said they did? They oh, Russell Simmons did his own uh, polygraph. Sit down, Russell. <laughs> That's probably why Kamara left his ass because he a hoe. My thing is this. If you didn't do it, and you're going to fight back, don't be like Eddie Long and said, I ain't, I, I ain't throw one rock yet. Sit down, Eddie Long. May he rest in peace. I'm just saying. If you don't believe that you did it, fight back. If you didn't do it and you really believe in people, because some, you know, you listen, y'all. Some people could be just saying stuff to jump on the bandwagon to get rid of somebody. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So he said he's going to fight back. So we'll see. All right, here we go. This is Showbiz Top 5. The one I want to talk about is Kevin, Kevin Hart's short black ass. <laughs> now, he was on The Breakfast Club. Shout out to The Breakfast Club, who I would love to sit in with them one morning. But supposedly, he admitted, well, he, not supposedly, he admitted that he cheated on his wife, the pregnant wife. Oh, my God. How in the hell is this woman still with this short motherfucker? Ooh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to cuss. I just, it just made me mad. You know why? Because I think about somebody in my family. I'm not going to say their names because some of my family members watch my show. Who's a hoe, always a hoe, going to stay a hoe, going to be a hoe. No matter what. You just can't admit that you're a hoe. Stay by yourself, Kevin Hart. Why are you putting these women? And he talking about, oh, my first wife, I just left her because I just was tired. You a liar, you a hoe. 
allegedly. You're a hoe. It's, it's, it was proof. You, the proof is in the pudding. Kevin Hart, you sit right up there. You know everybody's watching you, and you go slip your ass in this damn car with this lady late at night while your pole wife's at home, pregnant with your child. She better than me, honey. <laughs> I've been sitting on count my coins, okay? Be waiting for that baby to pop out. <laughs> I'll be waiting on that baby to pop out. And you know what I'm going to tell Kevin Hart? Bye, Felicia. Oh, yeah. I'm out of here, baby. Like when the, when the Astros is playing. And the, I'm out. You're out of here. Oh, yeah. So that's what it would be. Kevin Hart, you need to sit your ass down somewhere. You're just a whore. You're a hoe. And you're going to be a hoe. You're going to be a whore. You're going to always be anybody who cheats on a pregnant woman that's just a hoe and going to always be a hoe. Oh, I ain't gonna never do it again. I learned my lesson. And then they ask him, well, what is it like in your house? Oh, it's a little tension. Mm. I don't know what kind of woman you got. It couldn't be my mama. <laughs> you would have never came back. <laughs> do I feel like that she should let him come back? Hell no. Woman, you stupid. You better get that man. You ain't that damn desperate to let him. If a man cheat on you, he now, first of all, ooh, think about this. If you cheating on your wife, I don't know if they had sex or not, but let's say if they did have sex with her, they probably did. If he had sex with another woman while this other woman is pregnant, you basically have got yourself in, in, in you know, combined with this other. You know, they say when you have sex with another person, you connect with them. So you connected with this woman and probably a whole bunch of other whores. You know, and I blame that whore, too, because she knew better. She knew Kevin Hart, and, and I don't know if she paid him or not, but she going to have to pay him if, if she get pregnant. Well, that would be a mess if she come up pregnant. I need Kevin Hart to get his ass somewhere and sit down. He needs to realize that everybody's not for him. And he needs to realize, he's talking about, oh, I know the world is against me. And I know people saying it. Oh, don't, don't think that my wife, my first wife, that, you know, it, it, that was just... I left her. No, you did. You did leave her, but she probably left. Just got tired of your mess. You probably didn't get caught. I know somebody. I know somebody in my family. I ain't gonna say their name because they watch my show. We get caught in the middle of doing something. Swear up and down. Ain't do nothing. Like Mama said, you just lying out your teeth. Lou <laughs> Nell tells this joke, and I can't tell you because I don't want to tell her jokes. You have to go see her in Arlington. She tells these jokes about her daughter. She asked her daughter something, her daughter, you know. But anyway, you have to go watch her. I don't want to tell her a joke. But, you know, some people just lie at their teeth. And I just think Kevin Hart is a hoe. I want you a year from now, two years from now, go back and look at this video and see he's going to be cheated again because he's a hoe and he knows he's a hoe. But he don't want to admit it. Until you admit that you're a whole Kevin Hart, you won't always be a whole. You need to get some help. Being a whole is like getting, being an alcoholic or a drug head. You need help for that. Harvey Weinstein. I'm just saying, y'all. All right, you guys take care. Have a great Friday. Love you guys. And I am trying to get better. Hopefully, by the time you see this video, also, I also want to send a prayer out for Chase. By the time you get this video, we are actually on our way to surgery. He's having just a little oral surgery. We'll just put, please, guys, a little prayer for him. It's my buddy. And I'm going with him. And uh, hopefully everything, you know, everything will work out. God lets everything work out fine. So he'll be fine. We'll just have a little surgery in the morning. He'll be fine. And so, you know, we'll be turning up the next week. All right. Love you guys. Take care. Always remember to please share my videos, like, and comment. Thank you. Continue praying for me that I get better. Take care.